Hi, my name is Lolly Anderson. Today we're going to be putting together the Bike Master Bike Carrier. This is one of our highest reviewed products and, and very liked by our customers. So we're going to show you how to put it together so you can get the bike to the track. So it comes with some instructions, a box of hardware, the carrier itself, which is really heavy duty, nice piece. The rails, and these are what hold the bike, and the ramp. These are the inner rails. All you need for putting the carrier together is a 17 millimeter box end or, or open end wrench, a 17 millimeter socket, an 18 millimeter box or open end wrench, 18 millimeter socket, and a 3 8 ratchet. You're gonna have everything individually wrapped. You got your inner rails. These are for your bike carrier for the ramp pieces, and then you have your tongue. First thing, you're gonna take the carrier, and get it positioned. You're gonna take your two inner ramps, and you're gonna have the peak of the bracket facing up. You're just gonna set these in place and line up the holes. And you're gonna take the threaded M8 by 40, and you're gonna put one washer on one side, line up your hole. You're gonna take your inner plate, put that on the inside. Add your washer and your nut. You're gonna do that on both sides. And I recommend you put it all together loose first. That way you don't have to struggle with the getting it to line up. So basically you take your 17 millimeter wrench, 17 millimeter socket, you're just gonna go through and tighten these up, make sure they're really snug. The whole unit will kind of straighten out. Okay, so the next step is to take the long bolts and what you're going to do is you're going to place these through the carrier holes like this. There's eight of these, so you're going to, they go on both sides and you want to put them in so that they're facing the vehicle so you don't have the long side on the opposite side. That way you don't bump into it or whatever if you're walking by. Okay, to tighten these up, you're going to need a 19 socket and a 19 wrench. You don't have to go crazy with these, you just want them snug. Okay, the next step is we're gonna put the support brackets on. Support brackets go on the top like this. And then you're gonna have, these are ramp holders, and these are gonna go towards the back. So if, you're, if the vehicle is facing this way, these are gonna be facing like this, so the pin is facing away from the vehicle. Line this up under here. You take your bolt with one washer, slide it down through the hole, and go through the bracket. And you're gonna have a nut, a washer, and a lock washer. Lock washer goes on the bottom. So your washer goes on, your lock washer, and then your nut. And again, just put these on loose at first. Just use your fingers to just kind of get them a little bit set. And then you can tighten everything down. And there's four of these, so you've got Two here and two on the other side. 
All right, then you're going to use a 17 millimeter socket and wrench, and you're just going to tighten these up. Okay, the next step is to put the ramp, and all you're doing is you're basically attaching the ramp to the carrier. So when you set it on there, you'll have two wing nuts on the top, and those are there just to kind of keep it in place. And the wing nuts make it easy for you to take on and off. You'll have this hitch pin, and this goes underneath through the hole, and it basically holds the ramp on. When it's all put together, that's what it'll look like. Okay, the next step is you have your bumper basically, and what this is is for keeping the bike, the front wheel is gonna go against this. So you have two wing stud nuts put through the hole, and then there's these threads. Again, put them in loose first. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you take, take this piece here, this is the anti-tilt device, you put this inside, you line it up with the second hole, the bigger hole, and then you're gonna take a threaded portion, you're gonna slide it onto your truck mount, you put this bolt in and start threading it. Take the sleeve, push it in, and as you're tightening it, you'll be able to see the retainer pinhole show up. So you're gonna tighten this onto the hitch of your vehicle, 60 foot pounds, and then you're gonna put the pin in. And that's it, you're ready to go. All you need to know is when you're ready to load your bike, you just take off the two wing nuts, place them on the back side of the carrier, and then you can pull your bike right up. It's got a lip that the ramp attaches to, and then you can load your bike up. We recommend that you tie it down in four points. So there's holes here for tie downs so that you can attach to the motorcycle and keep the bike nice and tight to the carrier.